Hey guys, okay, so I am here to actually put together this map photo project that we want to do. I'm going to show you everything I'm going to be using and take you through the process. I hope you enjoy it. So I showed you the picture frame before. It's a shadow box, what's called a shadow box frame, that I got at Hobby Lobby, I think pretty sure and uh, we removed the glass they do make some that have like a, a cover you can open but they're even deeper and we're putting it on a wall that's in a hallway we walk through so we didn't want it to be too deep um, so we just removed the glass from this one and this has styrofoam on the back this is the reason I picked this one I saw these pins sticking in it and we are planning to do a map and stick pins in it of where we've been so that was my clue that this was what we wanted. So I'm going to be taking off, of course, this thing that came with it. And I have the sticker map I bought, which I also got at Hobby Lobby. But I can't use it the way it is for a couple of reasons. Yes, I could cut this off, but they also have this, it's not a barcode, but just a little like warning label that's part of it. And it would look funny if I just cut that out and that's it. Also it's got a pretty thick backing. So I'm gonna have a harder time getting the pins to go through the stickers and this backing. So my plan is to use this paper, which I got at Michael's, and put the entire sticker map on this paper and put this paper, once I get it the way exact way I want it, in this frame. So then we're gonna have our whole little sticker map and we'll be using these pins. We got a nice big box because we're gonna be going a lot of places. This is not gonna be just a states we've been to kind of map. We're gonna to try to put pins in as close to where we actually go in each state. Like we just left Newport, Washington. I believe it was kind of like right about where that polka dot is. We're gonna put a pin right in there. We've been to some other places in Washington out this way before. So we're gonna start putting in pins of everywhere. We picked yellow so it would show up well against this map. Although now that I'm looking at it, I think white would look good too. So we could always change our mind later, but I got the big box, 500 pieces. So we have plenty um, and don't have trouble finding like the same color later or something. Um, so that is basically how the actual frame itself is going to be made with the map. And then it's going to hang in the center of that wall over there in our hallway. Then the other component of this is that we're going to be hanging photos all around it. And we had originally planned to put frames around it, but there isn't that much space. And when we were at the store um, at Michael's this past time, we were looking for clothespins because we decided we would just put clothespins on the wall. We got these at Michael's, uh, 30 pieces each. They were actually in the sticker department, believe it or not. Um, and we picked this size because they're big enough that we can use command strips to hang them. Um, the other ones were just way too small. And so we're going to put pictures up with the clothespins. Then when we were looking for stickers, Sorry about all the dogs barking in the background, if you can hear it. This lady next to us has like four dogs. Anyway, Brian saw these stickers, which we also found there at Michael's, and they are state's license plates, which is really cool. So then we had the awesome idea of making a clothespin for every state and putting up one photo from every state as we visit it. So we could start by kind of clustering them around the frame on that wall. And when we have too many, we can go up there above the door and across the whole top of the slide so that we can get our 50 states and the pictures to go with them. So we went ahead and bought some and I used to use glue dots. I couldn't find those. These are called Zots, but they are clear adhesive dots just to make this really easy. And what I'm planning to do is stick the stickers to this cardstock paper first so that they don't have a sticky back anymore because the entire back of the sticker is sticky. And if we were to put it on the clothespins this way, then you would have that sticky stuff and 
all kinds of stuff would be sticking to it, especially all the fur in this house. So I'm going to stick them to cardstock and then cut them out. That way they have a non-sticky backing. And then I can put one of the little adhesive dots just in the middle of the plate and stick it to each clothespin. And so then we'll start with the states we've been to and put up all those pictures and then we can just have like a bag somewhere with all the extra ones and start putting them up as we visit. And this will be really easy since we're going to put it all up with command strips including the frame itself. If we get a different trailer or move into a house or who knows what the future brings, the whole project can be moved and go with us. Okay, I've started transferring the sticker over to the paper. This part's like really freaking me out because I'm afraid it's gonna be like just slightly off and make the whole thing go wonky, but I'm trying to fit it all together like a little puzzle and we will hope it comes out okay. Kinda wish it was just all one piece. This would be much easier. <laughs> okay, I got my sticker map on my paper. So that was step one and it took a while. <laughs> And I put Alaska and Hawaii as close as I could to where they're really supposed to go, although it looks kind of funny, but better than them both being at the bottom at least. So now I got to figure out exactly what I want to do to this paper and get it on my board. Okay, it's in the frame. So that part is complete. And I just cut it the way I kind of liked it. And I used my little Zots in the corners. It doesn't really need a lot because you're gonna be sticking all these pins in it that are also gonna hold it up there. But they actually seem really strong. I thought about tearing the edges of the paper, but in retrospect, if I was gonna do that, I should have bought a couple extra pieces of paper and torn it first just in case I messed it up because now that I've gone to all this work of putting my sticker on here, I don't wanna mess up my paper. So I just left it straight. In the future I might find a cool ribbon or something to put along the top and bottom, but for now this is good. So I'm going to stick a couple of pins in there. I'm not going to try to do all of our places right now because I'm going to have to look things up on maps and stuff to make sure I get everything correctly of where stuff's situated in the states. And then I'm going to move on to working on my clothespins. So I put in one pin for Denver, where we are from, but they are super long. <laughs> Look how long that is. The ones that came with it, which there was only two, are way shorter. But I do like the smaller head on the yellow ones, but I think we're going to have to look for some different pins that are shorter like that. These are just way too long and they're going to kind of bounce and fall all over the place. Okay, so I'm really excited about how this is working out so far. So here's a clothespin with a license plate on it. This is how I did it at first, but on the second try, I moved it down further, and I think I like that better, like so. Covers up the metal part. But look, I did this one as an example because I already had this picture from the Grand Canyon, and I think that is so cool. And then we're going to do command strips on the back of these. And that's how we're going to hang them on the wall. I think it's going to be really cool. And now I just have to do like mm, 48 more. Yeah, no big deal. Um, so basically I'm just sticking one to this cardstock. You know, not using anything else. It's just the whole back of it's already sticky. And then cutting around it. And then putting one of my little glue dot thingies, which look like this on the back and then sticking it to the clip. So super, super easy. Whew, I am finally done and going to bed because it's 11 o'clock and we're going to Glacier National Park tomorrow. Um, I can't hang anything yet because we are out of command strips. So I'll show you what some of this looks like completed later on, but I hope you enjoyed the little project. I think it's really cool how it came out. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. we got to get some shorter pins like that too. So hopefully this will be looking really cool soon.